Hey guys, today I wanna to show you how to build a custom trained AI chatbot inside of BotPress. Let's do it. Okay, so a few weeks ago, I showed you guys the easiest way to build a custom trained AI chatbot by using a tool called Custom GPT. Now, while that is definitely the fastest way to get a custom trained bot live on your website, there is a better alternative, an alternative that gives us more utility and functionality for the custom trained AI chatbots on our website. And that is a tool called BotPress. So in this video, I wanna do two things. Firstly, I wanna show you how we can build just a good run of the mill standard chatbot inside of BotPress. And then two, I wanna show you how we can take that standard chatbot and turn it into a custom trained AI chatbot that you can then deploy on your websites. All right, so let's hop right into it. All right, so I am in BotPress right now. You need to go sign up for an account. It's totally free. And the first thing we wanna do is we wanna create a chatbot. So I'm just gonna create chatbot here. Let this bad boy load. Congratulations, I've created my new chatbot. I'll hit edit and that will launch our studio. Now we'll have a couple options here to kind of launch our chatbot with. I'm going to start from template and then just kind of start with this basic empty chatbot here, just all the way down to the bones and launch it like that. All right, cool, so we're in our workspace now and you can see that we have a starting node and an ending node. Basically every other node, every other piece of logic we add to our chatbot is going to happen between the start and the ending node obviously no duh all right so for the sake of this video we're going to be pretending to be a travel agency and we are building a custom trained ai chatbot that can serve as a personalized travel agent to the visitors of our website that can basically recommend to them different places around the world to travel to and then answer any questions they have about those locations by pulling from its custom knowledge base so that's what we're building today all right, so in my head, there are really three important sub elements inside of BotPress that we need to understand in order to get started building out our chatbots. The first is called a node, the second is called a card, and the third is called an expression. Okay, so let's start off with nodes. To add a node, I'm just gonna right click and add a standard node right here. Okay, so these are basically the building blocks of our chatbot, all right? So I'm gonna give this a name. This is gonna be my introduction node, just like that, all right? And I'm going to link my start to my introduction node by adding a little line just like that. So this is the first node that our user will see when they are interacting with our custom chatbot. Now, in order to give this node any meat, any content, we need to add something called a card, our second most important element. So from inside our node, we're going to add a card. And you can see here are all the cards that we can add. So we can either you know, send messages in different formats to our user or we can collect different information from our user from down here. All right, so I'm just gonna start off with a little text card here. And I'm gonna send a message to our user that says something like, hey, welcome to our travel agency. I am your personalized travel agent today. Something like that. So that'll be the first message that our user sees when they interact with our chatbot. Now the next thing I wanna do is, for the sake of this video, I wanna capture some information from my visitor. So I wanna ask my visitor, how big of a group are you traveling with? And then use that information to kind of route them down different paths of my chat flow. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, so I wanna ask my user the size of the group they're traveling with. So in order to do that, I'm going to grab a number card and drag it in, all right, right under my text card. And I'm gonna ask another question. So how big of a group are you traveling with? All right, make sure that I'm capturing a number, I'm asking this question, and then I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna create a variable, and I'm gonna call it something like group size, something like that, I'm gonna hit enter. And so now what that allows us to do is, from within our chatbot, we can capture the group size or capture different pieces of information that our visitor inputs into the chatbot, and we can store that information to either use later in the workflow or to create conditional logic and branch this chatbot off into different paths that we can go down. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So we're capturing the group size from our visitor, and then based on that group size, we want to route them to different locations around the world. So if they have, I don't know, if they're traveling with four people or less, we can send them to Niagara Falls. If they're traveling with five to 10, we can send them, I don't know, to London. And then if they're traveling with 10 or more people, we'll send them to the Great Pyramids in Egypt, okay? Something like that, I'm making this up as I go. But in order to do that, we are going to have to add our third important element from inside of BotPress, something called an expression, all right? So I'm gonna drag three expressions into my very first introduction node. 
All right. Now, the reason I'm doing three is because I'm going to have three potential new paths that my chatbot can take our visitor down based on what their response is to this group size question. So, for example, I can come into this first expression right here. I can come over here and give it a condition. Now, a lot of this is AI driven, which is pretty awesome. So look, I can say something like, um, if group size is less than five and I hit enter and you can see that automatically BotPress has given this expression some logic or condition. So basically if that, if that variable that I created group size is less than five, well, I can route this path to another node, all right? I'm gonna come to my second expression. I'm gonna do the same thing. If group size is more than five, but less than 10, hit enter, all right? And it gave me a little bit of logic there, perfect, for my second expression. And then I'm gonna do my third expression, which is the same thing. If group size is more than 10. Perfect. Workflow.group size is more than 10. Sweet. So we have our node, which houses our cards, which give us in the form of expressions logic that we can then use to build different paths for our chatbot. So now that we have our conditional expressions in here, I'm going to add another node. And this one I'm going to call, I don't know, Niagara Falls. I think that's how you spell it. Maybe not. I don't know. Whatever. And I'm going to basically map that first expression. If the group size is less than five, I'm going to map that to my Niagara Falls node. I'm going to add a card, drag in some text and say, perfect. Your group size is, and then I'm going to do at group size. So it's going to pull in that, that variable, because we're storing their answer in that variable, I'm now going to present that number back to them so they know I'm listening. I'm going to add another text card here. And it's going to say something like, for a group that size, we recommend going to Niagara Falls. All right, cool. So now I'm going to create two more nodes here. And one is going to be, uh, I don't know, London. And one is going to be uh, the Great Pyramids. And we're going to do the exact same thing. So we're going to connect. If the group size is more than five, but less than 10, we're going to send them to London. And if it's more than 10, we're going to send them to the pyramids just like that. Okay. And we're just going to add some text cards and do the exact same thing. All right, cool. So we have our introductory node now, which asks our visitor their group size. We use that group size to then route our visitor down different paths of our chat flow. And then we are presenting our visitor with three different options based on their group size input. Now, what do we want to do after this? After this, we want to send all of our users to a question node. Basically, once we give them, hey, you're going to Niagara Falls, I want to ask our user, hey, do you have any more questions for me? All right, so in order to do that, I'm going to add another node. I'm going to give it a name questions node and I'm going to add a card and I'm going to use something called a single choice card. So essentially I'm going to ask the user, do you have any questions? And with a single choice field, it essentially gives them a button or two buttons at the bottom of the question. It'll say yes or no. So I'll, I'll add a choice. Yes. And I'll add one more choice. No and they'll have to click either yes or no. And then based on what they click, we can send them down different paths of the chat flow. Now we need to go back and we need to connect our three nodes to this question node right here. And in order to do that, we need to go back to our nodes here and add an expression. So I'll go to my card and drop in an expression. Now remember, our expression is essentially just the vehicle we use to get from one node to another, either by conditional logic or not by conditional logic. So back here, we use three expressions to kind of divvy up and send our users down different paths. Here, we don't want any conditional logic. We just want our expressions to always send from Niagara Falls every single time to the questions or every single time from our London node to our question node or from our pyramids node to our question node. So in order to do that, I don't want to give this any condition. I just want to say always. 
just always send once they're done with the Niagara Falls node, go to the questions node. And then I can connect just like this. All right. And I want to end expression here as well. Same thing. No condition. Just always send. Perfect. A little node pops up and we can send it to our questions node. And then the same thing for our pyramids. We're going to add an expression card, give it a condition of always and send it to our questions node. And again, that just means that every single time our user gets through these nodes, they'll be sent to our questions node where they will be asked if they have any more questions. Okay. So that is that let's go test our chat bot. Now make sure everything is working right. So I'll come down here. I'll type in hello. And we can see, Hey, welcome to our travel agency. I'm your personalized travel agent today. How big of a group are you traveling with? So you can see we just hit this first node right here. I'm going to type in an answer. I'm going to say, uh, it's just me and my friend. So just two. All right, perfect. Your group size is two. We're using our variable there. So it's pulling that in for a group that size. We recommend going to Niagara Falls. Perfect. So our logic is working for less than five. We come here. Do I have any questions? All right, that that's working. We'll do one more chat here just to make sure our conditional logic is working. Hello. How big of a group are you traveling with? I'll say seven. We should be recommended London. Cool. Perfect. Your group size is seven for a group that size. We recommend going to London. Perfect. This is working. All right. So that is the high level bot press overview. Remember we're dealing with nodes with cards and with expressions. And by using all three of those in harmony, you can start to see how complex these chatbots can get. Now in the second part of this video, I want to show you how we can transform this standard chatbot into a custom trained AI chatbot by creating our own knowledge base that it can learn from and then pull from to answer the questions from our website visitors. So let's do that right now. All right. So we're always going to ask our user this question right here, which is, do you have any questions? If they don't have any questions, we're done. But if they do have a question, I want to branch them up here and then have our chatbot pull from a custom knowledge base to answer their questions. So how can we do that? Well, I'm going to add a standard node and I'm just going to call this, I don't know, AI knowledge base or something like that. Okay. Whatever. I'm going to add in a card. I'm going to do a single choice card. Uh, I'm going to say, what would you like to know? And then I'm actually, I'm going to change that single choice to raw input. So just text. So the user can ask any question they want in a string. I'm going to create a variable that just says, I don't know, question just in case we need that later. We probably won't, but you know, it's just good habit. Now, how can we turn this node into a custom trained AI node that can answer our users questions in order to do that? I'm going to come over here and click this little button here called add knowledge base. All right, I'm going to give it a name, um, travel knowledge base. Okay. Give it a description, blah, 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 whatever. All right. And then I'm going to hit knowledge base source. And you can do a bunch of different things here. You can either upload text into this knowledge base. You can upload a document with a bunch of information from your website or your company into this knowledge base, or you can just do a web search and link straight to your domain on your website. And it can pull information from across your website to use as its knowledge base. That's what I'm going to do today. So I'm gonna hit web search. All right. I'm going to search on specific websites and I found this travel blog here, some guy named nomadic Matt. And I want to pull all my travel information from his website. Um, and I want my chatbot to answer my users questions based on the information on nomadic Matt's website. So I'm going to copy that and I'm just going to paste that in right here and just get back to the domain. All right. And that's that. So my knowledge base is set up. And so in order to turn this on, I'm going to come right back here to my node. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on it. Just click on the name right here and I'm going to hit enable knowledge answering. All right. And you can see this little book pops up. I don't know if you could see that this little book pops up. And now we know that this is a knowledge base node. So any question that my user asks will basically search this knowledge base and hope to find some information. Now, if my knowledge base does not have the answer to their question. I want to basically send them an error message like, Hey, sorry, I don't know the answer to that question. So in order to do that, I'm going to add an expression and I want to give it a condition of exclamation point turn dot knowledge agent dot responded. All right. So paste that in there. So basically if the knowledge agent doesn't respond, I'm going to send this to an error node right here. 
that's going to say something like, um, you know, hey, sorry, I don't know the answer to that question. Okay, just like that. But otherwise, if the knowledge agent does respond, I essentially just want to return my visitor back to the question node and say, do you have any more questions? So I'll add another expression here. And this one will just be always or true. And so anytime I answer their question, I always send them back to the questions node right there to ask them again, hey, do you have any more questions? Does that make sense? I hope it does. I also want to add an expression here to my error node that does the same thing. So they get this message, sorry, I don't know the answer to that question. And then I just bring them always back to, do you have any more questions? So I'll bring them right back to this question node right here. So same thing. So from a high level, let me zoom out here and show you guys what this looks like now. Essentially, what we'll do is we'll ask them their group size. Based on their group size, we'll route them to different recommendations. Then we will always send them to this node, which will ask them, do you have any questions? If they say no, then the chat is done. If they say yes, then we bring them to our knowledge base, our AI knowledge base, where they can ask any question they want. And we will search nomadic Matt's blog for an answer. If we have an answer, we will then display that answer and then ask them again. Hey, do you have any other questions? If they say yes, then we just complete the loop and keep going. If they say no, the chat ends. If our knowledge base can't respond, if it can't find an answer on Nomadic Matt's website, we will say, oh, sorry, I don't know that answer. And then we will ask them, do you have any more questions? And that is that. So let's test this whole thing out now and make sure our AI knowledge base is working. And then I think we'll be good to go to get out of here for the day. All right, so I'll just say, hello. And it says, hey, welcome to our travel agency. I'm your personalized travel agent today. How big of a group are you traveling with? Uh, I'll say 12. All right, perfect. Your group size is 12. For a group that size, we recommend going to the pyramids. All right, do you have any questions? If I hit no, well, the chat is over. But I do have questions, so I'm going to hit yes. What would you like to know? Well, uh, what is there to do in Egypt. I'll hit enter. It's now searching the knowledge base. It's searching Nomadic Matt's website. And cool, we've got some answers here. So there are a few helpful tricks to save money in Egypt, Memphis tours, uh, historical sites, snorkeling, camel riding, Charm El Sheik. I don't know how, how you say that. All right, cool. Do, we, do I have any more questions? I do. Awesome, so it brings you right back here. What would I like to know? Uh, are aliens real? Sorry, I don't know the answer to that. All right, cool. So that's working. I get routed back right here. Do I have any more questions? I'm going to hit no. And that is the end of our conversation. So that is how you can build a custom trained AI chatbot from inside of BotPress in a much more complex and functional way than we could in my last video by using custom GPT. I hope you guys liked this video. I hope you guys got a lot of value out of this video. If you did, go down in the comments and let me know. If you like this video, smash that like button for me. I'd really appreciate it. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, consider subscribing. That would be awesome. And I'll see you all on next week's video. Peace.